All right, guys, so today we're going to learn how to install a switch. So where we're going to install it is going to be right there. we got our hotline run into this light. And then all these lights stay on from the switch inside the house. But I want to make it so this light always stays on. And then I'm going to be able to determine whether the other lights stay on or off from the switch going right there. So it's going to be the same principle for interior and exterior. Exterior is obviously easier because the wires are outside of the wall. But it's going to be the exact same principle in terms of wiring. So let's get started. And if you guys haven't seen it already, check out the video. I'm going to leave it in the description below where I'm going to show you guys how to install any kind of light fixtures or any kind of exterior lights just like these. So check it out. All right, guys. So this is everything you need to get started here with the job. First thing we're going to start off with is the wire. This is called 12-2, 12 for 12 gauge, 2 for 2 lines coming out. You're going to have your white, which is going to be your neutral, your black, which is your hotline. You need your switch, a box for the switch, a cover for the switch, some electrical tape, a utility knife, flathead and a Phillips head screwdriver, some wire connectors, you need another box just with a single plate on it, you need some wire nuts and a stripper and a snipper, two in one tool. I'm going to put everything below in the description. You can get it all on Amazon, get it delivered to your house and get ready to get started. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our junction box and we're going to put it right here on that little X where we want it. If you do look at the inside of the junction box, there is no place for screws. But those two little dots there, in order to get those open, you're going to take your favorite hammer here, you're going to smack them both. And that's it. If one doesn't come through, take a screwdriver, smack it down. Next step here is to simply mount your junction box. with our junction box properly secured, we're going to want to install these little wire connectors. Alright, so we got our junction box mounted and we got our electrical connectors in the junction box. So we got two routes we can go here. We need to cut the wire here and then run the wire from here to this switch and then put a junction box and add a wire here. Or we could cut the wire here, run it down to here, and add a new wire here in this box, and run it to here. So what I'm going to do is cut it right here. I'm going to run this wire down in here, and I'm going to put a junction box and add a wire going into here. So let's get started. Now we're going to tie in our two Phillips head screws here to make sure the wire is securely in the box. Now we're going to install our junction box where the original wire was cut. Make sure you do give it enough room that the wire will come through and you can wire it properly. Now we're going to install our clamp connectors on both sides of the junction box. And the same procedure with the other box, we're going to pull our wire through and we're going to tighten the clamp connector. Now we're going to take our new wire here and install it in both the boxes. Now we're going to tighten down both wire connectors here with our Phillips head screwdriver.
All right, guys, so to strip this wire, we're gonna take it, we're gonna leave about maybe three inches of slack here. So we can cut this back a little bit. And then we're gonna take our utility knife. And be careful on this one, never cut towards your hand, always cut away from your hand. You just score right down the middle here. And don't worry, you can go all the way up in here. And you're gonna have your three wires. You're gonna have your ground is gonna be insulated here by this paper. Go ahead, take your wire snips, get that out of the way. Now you're ready to get wiring. All right, now it's time to wire our switch. So we're gonna take our black wire here, make it into a little fish hook. Same thing with the other black wire. Fish hook. Then we're gonna take our switch here it's got two little ports here that we're going to be able to attach the wires to. We're going to hook it in like that. Tighten that up a little bit. Same thing with the other one. Take our wire snips here, tighten this around. Perfect. Then we're going to take our two white wires, put them together, put a wire nut over them, and twist the wire nut until you can't twist anymore. Then we're going to take our electrical tape, we're going to wrap it around this wire nut with our two white wires. Now we're going to take our ground wire, put it around this green little screw, just like we did with the hot lines. And then we're going to tighten this up. Now we're going to take our mess of wires, shove them up in the box, take these screws, and screw them into the box. And don't forget your plate. All right, and last step here with this other junction box, we're gonna take our two white wires, put a wire nut over them, two black wires, put a wire nut over them. We're gonna take our ground wires, of course. And you guessed it, put a wire nut over them. We take our electrical tape, wrap up each wire nut, make sure there's no copper exposed. So we're going to push all our wires deep into the box, take our plate. Alright guys, so this is what it should look like when you're done. So in recap, we took the hot line from here, ran it to our switch, took the existing wire here that we cut, and we attached these two wires through a junction box with the wire nuts and the electrical tape. So I guess the last step here is to use the switch and see if I know what I'm talking about. Alright, so it looks like everything did work out as planned, of course. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, check out my other videos.
my goal here with this channel is to make the highest quality DIY videos out there. So please consider subscribing and you guys have a good rest of your day. Thanks.